I fully agree with everyone who uh, contributed with explaining why thinking on the level of North and Western Europe, thinking in terms of mega regions is very important and very urgent now. Um, but I want to add two things. One is, um, it, it's all about benefits of scale. Um, if we make sure that we, we use the, 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 the um, borrowed size potential, there is a benefit of scale in terms of quality of life, in terms of um, uh, spending less money on uh, things that we don't need, but also on the gaining capacity, econ economic capacity of our region. And that is important because there's also a huge, huge bill to be paid. It's wonderful that we have a green deal in Europe, but it's all taxpayers' money. So we all have to pay for that. And I, I, I'm very much in favor of that, but we all have to try to improve our economy in order to pay that bill. And it's not only about the Green Deal, it's also about the adjustment of our uh, data infrastructure, of the energy system, of uh, the, the bill that has to be paid for all the, the, the issues regarding uh, migration, uh, demographic changes uh, with um, uh, more people uh, living longer, and so on and so forth. So there's a, the, the big, big bill to be paid in Northwestern Europe or on the level of Omega regions that we have to uh, earn. So therefore this, this idea of, of benefits of skill is very important. So that the first thing, why do we do that? Because we have to pay a bill. Otherwise yeah. there's no need to do that. And the second thing is if you take into account all these levels that were in the different contributions already put forward, the different levels of the answer why, we'll see that there, there's an, there are many ways in which these levels can contradict. So for instance, uh, an agenda for a European high-speed rail network could easily be in conflict with the local and regional agendas for improving regional railway systems. Yeah. That means, we're talking about policy making and politics, that it's, it's a no-go for a politician who has, like, like it, next, next uh, spring, there will be uh, national elections, general elections in the Netherlands. A year later, there will be elections uh, for the municipalities in the Netherlands. So if we cannot come up with a solution to take away all these uh, tensions between the different levels of, of our analysis, uh, if we cannot come up with answers to reduce the risks um, to, to reduce the number of contradictions, then it's not interesting for politicians. So it's no. far too easy for all of us to say, okay, we have a brilliant idea because we're urban planners and why don't politicians adapt our agenda? Yeah. It, it's, that's too easy. It's our job to make this whole analysis and this whole uh, strategy adaptable and doable for politicians. Yeah. So my, my, my second statement would be, let's all study on this whole idea of mega regions in general and the mega region in North and West European, much more precise to make it interesting, likable and doable for politicians. And that means we have to find roads in this whole analysis that uh, reduce contradictions, reduce risks and to uh, come up with more ideas about synergy. That's why the example I gave, we're trying to not make regional uh, public transport in the region of Amsterdam a contradiction to European high-speed train systems. It should, uh, it should enhance it, uh, the one and the other. 